Sagan, a white flag flies this time by. As we close the penultimate lap, here comes the five of Larson all over the back bumper, the number 22, ha a quarter mile left to go. Here's Larson trying to throw it into turn one. He overdrives it. And if he wants a shot at Logano, turn number three, he's going to throw the kitchen sink at him from a car length back. Here they come into turn number three. He's up against the wall, rim riding for the lead, for the win. It's a drag race off turn four to the line. They spin across, and Joey Logano is going to win here at the Miscraft Racing Complex. And Larson tried to video game it coming into turn number three, and it does not prevail. Joey Logano wins for the first time since season number five at Gateway. On three and four wide, white flying in the air, 2.6 miles to go. And here's Blaney out of the inside of the 99 of Suarez. Here's Elliot now through the middle. Here they come one of the backstretch for the final time. Blaney up the back bumper of Larson. He looks low. He looks back high. Through turns three and four for the final time. Blaney up top. He'll go back low. Oh, there's contact. Larson's around. Up into the catch fencing and slamming back to the ground. As Ryan Blaney will cross the line first as a horrific crash crash at the front straightaway will take out Kyle Larson and the catch fencing caution is out checkered flag race is over and Ryan Blaney's the victor the 78 the 14 the 11 lead those are the top three across the line one lap to go to find out who your final four is going to be Stewart on the back bumper the 78 he slides in the turn number one tracks up the track into the inside contact for the lead clear into the tunnel turn Tony Stewart to the lead and back down to turn three. Here's Trix now looking for the point. Side by side, but onto the front straight for the final time. Trix makes contact to the line. Martin Trix Jr. wins and races his way into the championship. Cut out from underneath him, slid up the track. Stewart came to the inside. They beat doors down the back stretch like they did on the front. And across the tunnel turn, Stewart cleared, but Trix had the run. Dove it in, made contact a little bit there, maybe and was able to get him onto the front straightaway. Uh, Stewart ran him down the track. Made a Two little... laps remain in Bristol, down to the inside. Here comes Blaney, tries to get to the left side door. Was there for a moment, but he's gonna have to back out. Here they come, riding, riding around to the white flag. Stenhouse out front, here's Blaney to second, Kozlowski third, down into turn one. Blaney overdrives the corner, slide up, crossing over Stenhouse to the inside. They're side by side, back to turn three. Stenhouse with the advantage, runs the 12 of the racetrack, and off of turn number four. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is gonna get his third Miscraft Cup Series win here at the Bristol Motors Speedway. And let's see how it happened. The smart move from Blaney to choose the inside on the restart paid off until this right here where he overdrove turn one and allowed Stenhouse to cross him over and push him up into turn number three and Stenhouse comes across the line to win here in Bristol. One lap to go, a mile and a half remains, they're switching back and forth, here comes Pank to the outside, Shrek dives low to three wide for the lead. But Lagana against the outside wall, against, back, against the back bumper of Blaney, he tries to block low, here comes Kurt Busch out of nowhere, three wide through the middle. With help from Noah Gregson off turn number four, Kurt Busch with the lead, three wide for second off turn four for the final time. Gregson throws a block and he spins, Kurt Busch wins, and another huge crash across the line, since the 62 this time tumbling. And a caution's back out across the line, but Kurt Busch is the victor. You see we are off turn number two, the 12 blocked low on the inside of the 22. Kurt Busch went down there as well and somehow made that car stick three wide through the middle with help from the 62 of Gregson. And across the line, Gregson tried to pull to the inside of the 45 to get the win, but he didn't have enough room to get down there and wrecked himself across the nose of the 22. He looks at the inside, he's going to move the two up the racetrack in turn number three, side by side. Three wide now for second. Kevin Harvick up to second on the outside lane. And Chase Elliott trying to drive away on the white flag in Iowa. Back into turn number one. Here's Chase Elliott on the inside. Harvick on the outside. Good run down the back for Harvick. What can he do in turn number three? To the inside he comes in turn number three. Chase Elliott overdrives the corner side by side of the checkered flag. Who's it going to be? I think it's Chase Elliott winning here in Iowa. And Denny Hamlin gives the 70 a huge shove. Three wide for the lead off the restart. Stewart takes the lead. Drops down in front of Denny Hamlin. Three wide for second now with Stenhouse on the top side. Down the back straightaway, the 70 gets a good run to the quarter panel of the 14 cars. Two Bass Pro Shops cars side by side for the lead off turn number four. Coming to the white flag, here's Austin Dillon out of the picture. Truex, he's going to go back high, but Dillon fakes him back low. Three wide for the lead. Three wide again. Stenhouse to the inside, to, to the middle, and A.J. Allmendinger to help. Here they come to the back stretch. Stenhouse clears. Here comes Truex and Hart. Earnhardt on the outside lane. Wheel to wheel back to turn number three. Here they come. Off turn number four. Here comes Earnhardt. Looks high. Side by side. Three wide to the line. Who's it going to be? Rick Sash Jr. is going to take on the checkered flag at the Daytona International Speedway. Clear Logano, but one lap remains. This time by off a of turn four. The Truex is run wide and they make contact at the line. Here they come into turns one and two for the final time. Logano is into the grass and down the back stretch. They're side by side and Logano's got a tire rub. And into the corner, Truex on the inside. Logano into the wall and off turn four. 
Martin Truex Jr. will win here at the Mistcraft Racing Complex. And what a wild final eight laps of this race. Martin Truex Jr. somehow holds on through the calamity. You see right here, he got pushed wide off of turn number four, almost hit that ind indented wall, and had came out, made contact with the 20 shoe car, gave him a tire rub, sent him into the grass off turn number two. And uh, man, Martin Truex Jr. performs a white flag's gonna fly this time of Daytona. Here's Byron to the outside. They're gonna try to go side by side, and Chase Elliott's gonna block. Here they come in turn one. Yeah, will Alex Bowman be able to do anything in the inside? No, he's gonna slide. He spins on the apron. Now here comes Byron to go to the inside. Blow the apron. Ty Dillon outside. Now they're gonna go side by side. Three wide, they're gonna spin. Here comes Clint Boyer through the middle. From fourth or fifth, Clint Boyer gonna win here in Daytona. What a mesmerizing last lap. Cleaning out three and four wide. White flag in the air here in Talladega. Final lap for the tough trucks of NASCAR. Chandler Smith leads contact. They're three wide deep into the top side with help from Brett Moffitt. Down the Alabama gang super stretch for the final ten. Even goes sideways. So does Chandler Smith. They're all skipping back and forth. Crapped in the middle. There's three wide coming through three and four. Everybody leaning on each other. They're sliding off turn four. Crafton spins. Here's Haley Deegan blocking low. She blocks high. She'll slide the line and win here at the Talladega Super Speedway. And the third exhibition race checkered flag goes to Haley Deegan. Here's how she got it done. Chandler Smith led to the white flag. They made contact with three wide off turn number two. Tyler, I don't know how we didn't have a huge wreck here. Two trucks go spinning and Haley Deegan dirt trucking that way left and right to the line. It just barely hangs off a charging Brett Moffat. For a second as that did not work. Here comes Blaney out of the inside. What a huge push from the eight and the nine cars will get them to the outside lane in turn number three. Reddick now looking for the lead. He puts the nose out front. White flag on the air. Huge shove again from Bubba Wallace on the outside lane. He'll go back high in front of a Toyota teammate. Here they come through turns one and two for the final time. Out of the back straight away. Wallace looks high, but here comes another run. Side drop from Reddick. Oh, there's contact. Reddick and Wallace on the outside. Well, and here comes the leaders back to turn number three. Suarez has the point. He's got a bell up the inside and back into the outside. That crossways to the line. But Daniel Suarez is going to beat him to it and win here in Daytona and your season three champion of the he's now clear for second here comes Truex now to the inside he's still got damage on that left rear tire how's that gonna hold up with two to go here comes the right to the inside moves the 24 of the racetrack but Byron has the outside lane advantage here comes Truex as well to the inside here he comes for a second back to turn number three coming to the white flag this time by Byron on the outside wall he taps it just a little bit there the three wide for the lead one lap to go in Darlington here's the comes the eight of Tyler right to the inside he'll slide job to 24 and turns one and two and take the lead onto the back straight away Honey Butter Croissant Mobile, number eight. Tyler Reddick blocking back and forth at turn number three. Byron slides on the racetrack, and Truex's tire lets loose, and across the line, Tyler Reddick's gonna get a second Miscraft Cup Series win at the Arlington Raceway.